Hey Power Seekers, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, I'm Stray Hydroboard, and this is the space where we dive deep into the pursuit of power and personal growth. Now I know the idea of power might sound unusual in today's context, but let me break it down. For me, power isn't just about muscles or wealth, it's about mastering the game of life. It's the ability to do, create, and achieve. Imagine building a pirate ship in a month. That takes not just resources, but leadership, strategy, and influence. Now I'm not here to boast, I've simply eliminated two things from my life, fear and desire. I operate on clear-headed thinking, ambition, and determination. Think of characters like Azula from Avatar, Lucy, or even Elle from Death Note. Driven, clear thinking, and somewhat psychopathic in their pursuit. Why am I sharing all of this on social media? Because right now, defeating the algorithm is the most powerful thing I can do. It's my strategy, just like the mechanical contraptions I've been. Speaking of which, that's where my skills lie, and that's why you'll see a lot of build content around here. So buckle up, because on this channel, we're not just building contraptions, we're building power. If you're intrigued by ambition, clarity, and the pursuit of something more, you're in the right place. Now let's dive in to today's quest for power. All right, guys, I'm awake. First thing I notice is tooth pain over here. Uh, I've been having tooth pain there for a bit now. Um, honestly, I started feeling it ever since I had this tooth taken care of. And this tooth still ha is really sensitive to like ice right now um it's been like a week since i've had it worked on but and then this one I, I know there's also a cavity down here which doesn't help and then this one like I'm starting to feel some pain in it that's concerning uh now the reason i kind of been like this one off is for a couple reasons. One, they didn't notice anything wrong with it the last couple times I went to the dentist. And two is because I haven't seen anything wrong with it. And three is because I had like my wisdom teeth kind of come in and I had some some really bad tooth pain for for a bit but then it kind of like went away and then my teeth were fine and I was kind of hoping that that's what would happen with this tooth is like oh it's like just tooth pain that's like it's probably my wisdom teeth just being weird give it a little bit and it'll be fine but it kind of like hurting more and more and then I swished some water around in my mouth and then it like really like stung and so and then like I wake up this morning and I can feel it like stinging right now and what sucks about that is because since I can't really see it it's most likely something that's it's either it's either just my wisdom teeth being funny and it's gonna be fine or it's like something that's gonna have to be like a root canal or even if it is just like a cavity or something that only costs five hundred dollars right um that's gonna be another paycheck right there and if it's a root canal or something that's gonna be me trying to pay it off for the rest of my life because they're gonna sign me up for installation payments and you know, and then hopefully I'll be able to make every single payment, and if I don't, they're probably gonna uh, tax me even more. I'll probably just have to end up, I'll be in debt, and I'll, I'll be in debt to them for the rest of my life. Um, so, that's a little concerning. That's the first thing that I noticed when I woke up. You know, last night I was in a pretty good mood. Uh, was looking forward to like feeling like I actually might make some progress but you know 
that's kind of if everything goes perfectly. If this one thing bad happens, like my tires pop on my car or I have tooth issues that need to be taken care of sooner than I thought or whatever, then <laughs> uh, it's not going to be good. I'm going to be... I'm gonna be like in a in a hole, basically, I'm digging a, a deeper and deeper hole because I don't make enough money to, you know. So, anyways, guys, uh, it's literally it's so tight right now for money that the difference between me having to work on a tooth or not could be like the difference between life or death all right and yeah I mean it's basically where we're at right now and I'm kind of just fingers crossed that my YouTube channel blows up and fingers crossed that I don't have to work on this tooth so that's the way it's just fingers crossed right now if I have to work on my tooth or if my channel doesn't blow up, I'm basically just screwed. Yeah, I'll be, like, if I have to be, like, paying $3,000 for a root canal or whatever, uh, I'm going to be in debt to them for, like, the, I'll be doing installation payments, but that's just, like, a way for them to get you. <laughs> what if I, like, miss a payment? Oh, then it, the price goes up double or whatever, you know? So it's just, like, it's stupid ways that they come up with to, like, screw you over. And, uh, so, I don't know. We'll have to think about that one, kiddos. So that's a little concerning. There's no rain. It doesn't even look like it rained last night. It's supposed to rain around 8, 8 a.m. Uh, basically the plan is to paint today been kind of putting that off for a while I feel like now is the time to paint uh, it was supposed to be raining today it's supposed to be raining around 8 it's 6 30 or 7 right now so you know probably soon if I was to go to the park and whatever and and also because of the kind of gloomy weather I could expect there to be many mosquitoes w where I would normally be filming, which is not great. If it was like sunny out right now or something, I think there, or, or if it had been dry recently and there wasn't so many puddles around, or if it was windy, like, I think there would be less mosquitoes. But right now it's like nice and no wind at all, and it's the perfect temperature for mosquitoes. So, like, if I went there right now, I'd be eaten alive by mosquitoes. <laughs> and I know that there's puddles still there because it hasn't been hot enough for them to dry up lately. So, I don't want to go back to Vietnam. <laughs> um, so, even though it is kind of like dry today, and it, it might tempt you to like go out and do stuff. It might tempt me to go out and do stuff. I mean, I, I could probably go, I could probably go to the park where there isn't the mosquitoes, go, like go to that part of the park, and then, um, I could like build, I can't fire the crossbow, but I could like build stuff, you know, cut stuff, put stuff together, but anyways, we're planning on doing some some drawing some drawing and painting so wish me luck with my tooth like see right now I don't really feel my tooth my, my tooth feels fine and I, you know but every time it hurts I'm just like ooh oh I hope that's nothing it's like obvious that it's not and then the more time goes on and it, and it keeps hurting the more it's like obvious that it's not just nothing but fingers crossed that it's just nothing. I, and the reason I say that, 
normally I would just be like, oh, it's tooth pain. Yeah, there's obviously something wrong with it. But the reason I say that is because I've had problems with my teeth before in the past with like wisdom teeth coming in and it just hurting an extreme amount. And then it just like stopped and it cleared up. So I'm hoping that that's what's happening. You know, I didn't have my wisdom teeth pulled or anything. They just came in, hurt really bad when they were coming in, and then they stopped. So, I'm hoping that maybe it's just like my teeth shifting around or something like that that's causing the pain. But, realistically, it's like, well, obviously, dude, you got tooth pain. There's something wrong with your teeth. And it's going to be something up in here, and it's going to be something nobody can see. So, it's probably going to be a root canal. So... It's just uh, gonna be like three thousand dollars, and you have zero dollars. So have fun with that, you know. <laughs> um. Anyways, um. Yeah, I was in like a really. It's funny because I was in like really kind of hopeful mood last night, and then tonight I'm just like, no. It's 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 more and more obvious that I'm I'm gonna have this tooth problem and that it's gonna have to be taken care of most likely and that I don't have the money to do it so and it's like oh well you could do installments you can do installation payments or whatever and it's like dude I will be paying that off for the rest of my entire life if I get that and you would be like no you're not well, that's because you're a fool. If you think that, then that's how they get you. Because, let's take a look at it. This I don't know what the installation rate is, but literally if I just miss one payment or whatever, and it's probably cost more, right? It's like, dude, to make $3,000, I've been working at Walmart for three months, and I have $200. So, let's say $200 every three months for in a year or so. Eight hundred dollars a year, so it'd take me about five or or ten years probably to pay off this tooth, right? Which is like <laughs> a big chunk of my life. And that's if I was just working at Walmart every day consistently, you know. Uh, like, that's like to say that I don't get fired from Walmart or something bad happen, you know. So. Yeah, it's basically a death trap either way. Um, anyways. I'm going to wake up a little bit. I, I feel like I've already... I don't know. I just feel bad right now. We'll figure it out. It's a little bit of like, oh, well, you don't really know what's going to happen. But it's mostly like, well, obviously I know what's going to happen. I don't have enough money to fix my teeth. <laughs> and uh, I need money to fix my teeth. So put, put two and two together. Um, but yeah guys, I, I really hope that soon I get out of this position of being in like, not knowing whether I'm gonna make it or not. Uh, I hope I just make it at some point because damn dude I <laughs> trying so freaking hard and I'm just like constantly in a like am I gonna make it or am I gonna lose it all and it's like dude I really want to get out of that position I'm trying so hard to 
get some freaking momentum built up. Anyways, this video is running on a little bit long. Uh, I think I'll just leave you on that note. Um, yeah. Wish me luck with the painting. And I'll see you in the next clip. Alright guys, you know the drill. Wake up, grind, repeat. Okay, you know. Tonight, um, we're just preparing for tomorrow. We're going to be working on the crossbow a lot tomorrow, making a lot of shorts, trying to kind of just go hard. Build on the crossbow, make it bigger and better. Um, teach, provide valuable techniques, um, engage with the fans, respond to comments, make the crossbow better, make the channel better. That's it. That's all we're really doing. We're just going to do that for like eight hours straight. You know? And then tomorrow we're going to go to Pyro's. We're going to basically do the same thing again, but with some welding involved. That's kind of the plan. Uh, might not. If Pyro calls out, we might not go to Pyro's. And we might just go grind again in the park, you know, building on the crossbow. But that's pretty much it. We're getting some good views still today. The word on the street. The news is that we're getting some good views today. Still getting like 20,000 views an hour right now. Um, got a, like a 1.3 mil or something like that so far in the last couple of days. So... A decent amount. We got a couple extra thousand subscribers, um, but you know it's nowhere near a hundred thousand, right? And that's all I'm thinking about. So I'm gonna keep going hard. Hopefully nothing bad happens. That's the plan. Just ate a pizza, getting ready for tomorrow. Big meal so that nice and strong tomorrow morning, and I don't have to eat <laughs> as much. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much the situation, guys. Live stream was good. Always good to see people. Always good to interact with the fans. Um, I feel like there's. I feel like I'm missing something, but it's like no. I'm. I'm already going as hard as I can. Um, just keep going hard. And I really hope that soon. I really just hope that soon you guys will be able to see me actually cook. You know, like let me cook. You're like. <laughs> I'm in survival mode for the past like eight months. I haven't been able to get a leg up. You know, it's like, but I want to see. I want. I want eventually you guys to see what I do when I'm a millionaire. You know, um, I want to make you guys proud, honestly. So I'm gonna get back to it. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This kind of like vlog. This kind of update. Hope you guys have been enjoying the story and following along. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.